Well, for nearly a month, water issues have plagued a mobile home park in Kinston. It's a story Nine on Your Side has been following since it broke. The issues are in Jackson Heights Mobile Home Park. It's located on 405 Wanda Street. That's where we find WNCT's Tamara Scott. She joins us live with the latest. Tamara. Shayla, residents here in the Jackson Heights neighborhood are no longer taking water for granted since their water's been cut back on after weeks of it being off. But now the question is, can they use it? The sweet sound of running water, something residents say is a relief. Wash clothes, wash dishes, <laughs> take a shower. But for weeks, they've relied on porta potties and other resources. You're having to buy water, buy buy drinking water, buy water so we can uh, take baths, eat. Water since has been cut back on. We were under the impression that, that water was fine and, and until my wife called, it was either the county or the state, and then they told us, don't drink the water. The NC Division of Water Resources issued a water advisory that has yet to be lifted. They say no bacteria has been found, but some reported a loss of pressure, which could represent the presence of bacteria. The advisory is only a precaution, and the latest test results are not back yet, but some residents are still concerned. Yeah, it can make people sick, and, and I'm not concerned about me, but there, there's kids out here, there's people out here older than I am. The North Carolina Division of Water Resources has been out here testing the water on Monday, but those results will not be available until later today or tomorrow. Now, if those results come back negative, that means the advisory will be lifted. But if it comes back positive, that means there will be an advisor out here checking on it every week. Live in Lenore County, Tamara Scott, 9 on your side.